let's take a look at what's new in H2R Graphics version 2.4. We have some interesting updates for version 1 users. One of those is now we have key fill back again in this version. So if I open up my key window and then I open up my fill window, they just opened off screen here. So I'll just bring them into this screen. There is my um, key and fill windows. So now if I open up my control window, I can now show graphics on those key and fill windows. Let's say we have this simple lower third here that comes on the screen. So at the top, I have what's my fill, what will be seen, and then what is being keyed out on the bottom. As you can see, as I show this graphic and hide it again, it pops up on the screen and the key and fill. And in theory, you would just connect two HDMI connections to this computer, drag one of these off to one monitor, drag this off to the other, and now you have nice key fill for use in things like an ATEM switcher or something like that. And there's only so much I can do in terms of the sync between these two windows. They are pretty close and you'll find that it works quite nicely for slide. But in general, you'll probably find it works even nicer whenever you choose something like a fade transition and then run your key and fill like that. And it'll look really nice. And the other big update in version 2.4 here is that we have custom CSS back now for themes. So if you scroll down in the theme editor, you'll see this nice big CSS block here and uh, you can use these little selectors to make changes to your output. So we can do that now. For example, here you can see this H2R base theme, large text, H2R base theme, small text. So anything I do in here will affect all of the small text on all graphical elements. Or specifically the lower third selectors, I can jump into those and say, I want my lower thirds to have a red background, or maybe I want my lower thirds to, let me just turn off that one have a red background within the text itself. So you can see it can get pretty advanced here. So if I'll just turn on this again, I can say that I want it to be uh, transparent. The whole background goes transparent. And if I just turn off the border up on my, uh, on my theme here. So now I have um, lower third, it has no background. I can also say that the large text should have a red background and then the small text Maybe it should have a um, lime green background. Why not? Looks lovely. And from there, I can make whatever changes I want. Maybe I want the large text to have a different size of uh, a font size. So I can say font size should be, um, I don't know, two view widths. So it gets pretty small. Or I could say 20 view widths. So it gets really big. And I can set this to whatever I want. I really recommend using the unit of view widths instead of things like pixels because um, it'll scale a lot better if you change it to something like view widths. I can have that in there. I could even say that I want, um, for example, let's see, what else do I want? The margin to be changed in the small one. So in here I can say, um, let's click over here and say that the margin on the left hand side of my small text should be um, 10 view widths. So you can see I can get some offset there. Let me just take this font size down to 10. Let's go a bit smaller to five. And now I have something that's completely different, unique, and I can do whatever I want with it. You can do a lot of stuff with CSS and I'm only sort of digging into it now, but um, there's loads of things you can do in there. And if you're not happy with your CSS, you can always reset it. And then it goes back to the way it was, empty CSS selectors. And you'll also find that each theme has its own CSS block. So I'm only changing in this one theme, but if I change my themes up here, then I change to a different CSS block and I can make changes to that one instead. So let's look at that. I've also made a couple of other small improvements in this version, things like the animated lower third is now called a lower third animated instead of two line, which is what it was called before. And a few other bits and pieces, cleanups and changes. As always, let me know if you have any issues along the way and good luck with version 2.4.